story time with Carlos Asuita. Eric Schmidt, the Attorney General of Missouri, tweets, in a stunning development, our office has learned that every single one of the St. Louis looters and rioters arrested were released back onto the streets by local prosecutor Kim Gardner. Carlos responds, the Democrats own this. These are all rifles firing at the cops. Surprise, a Crips gang member. Bam. Bam. He was making this sign. There's nothing else you need to know. This is why Donald Trump has deployed probably 1,000 plus federal tactical units from every single executive department and agency. What happened is that too many Americans began living in TV shows, movies, and video games. It's called the CSI effect after the TV shows about crime scene investigators. Juries can't distinguish between fiction and reality, so they demand ridiculous standards of evidence and conviction for conviction. I'd say that almost all leftists live in a permanent state of fantasy. None of what's happening is real. It's just exciting action. And now, Democratic leaders and journalists are infected with it. People ask me why I like Tim Pool. Well, He's far more accomplished than people think. He's a realist when it comes to covering stories himself, so he's gotten thorough training in how to survive war zones, etc. I like listening to his conversations with Adam Krigler. Both are highly pragmatic. Now, you may not have noticed, but today's journalists never listen to answers. This is why they can't learn. But it's also how they're totally hoodwinked. Again, something major happened in my city, and it's airtight. You can do things right under the noses of the mainstream media, and they don't see it because it doesn't fit the narrative. This is a lethal vulnerability. Trump exploits it daily. There's no doubt that this was an attempted insurrection, but not in the traditional sense. The goal was to cause as much destruction as possible to blame on Trump. Think about how stupid that was. The governors are responsible for the rule of law in the states, and they oppose federal help. Here's why the Democrats and press think this insurrection was going to work. This fucking guy. President, let history decide. His pathological refusal to defend himself is a form of masochism. And now he looks as senile and lost as Joe Biden. He's the same age as Trump. It was Hurricane Katrina that ruined Bush's presidency. All the Democrats running Louisiana let New Orleans drown. So they blamed Bush and he cried and collapsed. They're trying it again now. Bob Woodward, who for some reason now talks like this, said that Bush was obsessed with differentiating himself from Bill Clinton. Bush felt that defending himself would make him seem weak, defensive. For a long time, I agreed with that, but I think it's much simpler than that. I think Bush simply craves punishment. That's why he was literally in love with Nancy Pelosi. God knows what they did behind closed doors. There's a certain type of religious person who sins because he or she loves being disreputable and having to atone. Like I said, masochism. They actually had to tone down Robert Hansen for the movie Breach. Hansen was the worst spy in American history. He went to Catholic Mass every day, prayed on his knees in office, and he and his wife were involved in swinger clubs that did things beyond belief. I'm sure he spied so he could feel dirty and then atone. 
George W. Bush and Barack Obama were psychologically unfit to be presidents. They took out their personal problems on us. That's what people almost always do. Their problems make them angry, so they avenge themselves on us. For once, we have a president who put us ahead of himself. That frees him to do whatever it takes. In my 57 years, I've learned an immutable natural law. All wrongdoers know what they're doing is wrong. Trump knows this too. That's why he never cuts people slack. It's the only way to bring about improvement. Think of the absolute obscenity of all the keepers of the status quo telling us that now we have to change. George W. Obama. Only a few of us understand that Donald Trump is the most radical politician in human history. He's also the first wholly altruistic, benign radical. And that's why he will throw all of this back in the Democrats' faces and win.